Good morning! I am here in the Yorkshire Dales National Park today and I'm currently stood on the top of a waterfall called Scalber Force which is right here and I'm planning on going all the way down to the bottom to show you the beautifulness of it but we stayed in a place called Settle last night and we're having a bit of an exploration today so it's a little bit of an informal video we're planning on going to Malham Tarn and I think we might be going to a viaduct as well at some point but we have no idea how the day is going to pan out it's just going to be one of those chill days having a little stroll around and exploring the area Tarn. <laughs> Since I last spoke to you we went to obviously the waterfall, went back to settle to shelter for a little while but now it's three o'clock in the afternoon it has been pouring it down non-stop and <laughs> this is now the views that we've got of this lovely Malham Tarn so I'm really hoping you enjoy this video today. I've just managed to find a bit of shelter under these trees and it's amazing it's obviously lots of people have been building little shelters around here but yeah, <laughs> the weather is certainly interesting today 
This, if you don't know, is what 3% chance of rain is like in August in Britain. So yeah, <laughs> I certainly didn't expect it to be like this today at all. It has been quite horrendous. I haven't managed to get my camera out unfortunately, so this is probably going to be the shortest video <laughs> I've ever put up. But we've had a waterfall, we've got Malantarm, I'm definitely not going to be going to the viaduct as I hoped. But I think we are definitely going to come back another time when the weather's not so bad and explore a little bit more of this area. But so far the Oxydales have been absolutely lovely, but the weather's just not been on our side. But I'm going to walk a little bit further around, see what I can see, see if there's anything else I can actually show you apart from rain and mist. We're just walking through Malham Tarn House Field Centre now. So at first I thought it might be some kind of hotel or something, but it is a place where they do field studies. Now, I don't like spiders, but this is pretty cool. There is a big metal spider kind of structure up here. But look what you can see when you zoom in really close to the front of it. You just couldn't have placed it in a better position. It's as if the spider knew, isn't it? But wow, it is, it's kind of eerie walking around here because it looks like an abandoned place. I feel like we're walking through somewhere that is just completely, I don't know, it's really hard to explain. We've obviously got no views whatsoever anywhere. We're just walking through rain and mist. Not seen another soul since the car park, but <laughs> it's kind of intriguing. amazing walking through this little section. There's all these little ecosystems going on in the rocks and I keep seeing all these tiny little flowers and raspberries, all the gorgeous little ferns. It really is lovely and I think there's some sculptures along this kind of track. Obviously there was the big spider and I think coming up there's a big hair in front of me which I can see but yeah I haven't really done a lot of research around here and it's quite interesting so I'll see what I can find out about it for you. Malam Tarn was formed around 12,000 years ago at the end of the last ice age. It's an important wildlife habitat. The Tarn and surrounding areas of raised bog, fen and woodland are protected as a national nature reserve. The National Trust and Natural England work together to protect the animals, birds and plants that live in and around this upland, lime-rich, shallow lake.
I am nearly back at the car now and it has been a wonderful day despite the rain and it has just stopped raining so I can actually show you a bit of a view of Malham Tarn and it is absolutely gorgeous and I think it's just been one of those days today where you have to think to yourself okay I'm not made of sugar I can still go out and explore still see things and if anything it gave the walk a lot more atmosphere I mean anyone can come on a nice sunny hot day can't they but I mean look at it it is absolutely empty there is nobody around I think Derek's behind me somewhere along there <laughs> yeah taking some pictures of a boathouse but it has been absolutely wonderful I will highly recommend coming here whether it's raining or full of sunshine but I hope you have enjoyed the video today and I'm sorry I've not been able to show you too much but I hope you have enjoyed what you have seen and I will look forward to seeing you in the next one goodbye